financial background definitely helped. I mean, it's not the only thing. The thing I kind of really lacked was the understanding, you know, raising money from other people. But I had a guy um, that both my brother and I really, really liked that was a commercial real estate guy in our hometown. He was really the only commercial real estate guy. And he kind of took a liking to us and you were young guys and he was probably in his 50s at the time. And he taught us a lot and really encouraged us. And we bought, I think, like six properties from him in a couple year period of time. And, uh, but that was with my brother and myself. We started raising money. We joined some other groups here and there that kind of helped a little bit more on raising money. But the biggest thing I concluded, you know, that I didn't have very good on the, on the IT side. I was really good. I had to go to different projects and meet people, but I really didn't have the, I didn't really care that much about people's pers uh, personal life. Frankly, I didn't, I never got into, you know, they have wife and kids and, you know, so it was kind of one of those things I didn't take the time to really understand people. And now with real estate, my whole goal is to, it's not to get money from people. It really isn't. We can get money enough to do things, but it's to understand people, what their goals are. Maybe we can help them. Maybe we can't. I refer people to other people, self-storage, mobile home parks. I have people in that, in that industry too. So that was a big kind of 180 for me. And uh, people that knew me from before doing IT are like, who are you? You know, it's like, you're, you're totally different. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm happier too. I have a lot more friends now. I really do. It's been great. <laughs> it's amazing when you start to care about uh, yeah. the nuances of people. That's right. People. It is. It really is. Yeah, I love that. At a certain point, it just becomes money and becomes a, a shutoff valve. But that's right. an incredible point if you can understand what people want. Because especially in, in raising money, you, you want it to be the best option for everyone. And if you don't understand what they're looking for, even if it's a slam dunk deal, it may be outside yes. of their threshold for risk tolerance or it might not be the right time for the whole pattern. There's just so many different levels there that could make something that seems to you like the best investment really just not even be in the ballpark for another right. person. So when you first start out, admittedly, right, you're scared, you know, you're raising money for the first yeah. time and you, you you need to care that it's a good investment for them. But if they have the money, you're kind of like, yeah, this is good. You know, this is, this is a good deal, which it is, but you need to understand really what they're looking for and, and make sure if they're investing in things in IRA, we tell them about UBIT tax and UDFI. We, we explain all the things. So they come in as knowledgeable investors, which should hopefully result in us having less, less issues by doing that. 